Welcome back to my channel, Home Sweet Haul. I'm so sorry that it's been a minute since I posted a video. Um, life just is a little crazy, which I'm sure all of you guys can relate to. Um, I actually had to start back at my new job and it's just been stressful trying to learn how to manage it and just you know deal with all the other stresses in life in general which like i said i'm sure you guys all know that so in that time though i was able to um go to a couple stores i did find some things at the dollar tree at walgreens and even surprisingly giant food. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever taken a peek at like their seasonal aisle. Um, they have some really cute home decor things there for the holidays. So I did manage to pick up a couple things from there, which I'll show you guys. Um, and if you guys have, you know, some giants around you, maybe you could go in and pick some up. So anyway, let me get started so it's not a long chatty haul. So the first things that I found, I'm super excited about. I remember seeing these for the first time in someone's haul video and I was like, oh my God, yes, I have to have those in my Halloween collection. Um, I just loved the vintage look of them and feel of them. Um, they do all have some glitter, which I'm not thrilled about, but you know, it's fine. It's not that much. Um, but I actually found these at a Dollar Tree that I always tend to forget about because it's a very small one. Um, and they never usually have a lot of things, so I never really go in there. But I was actually food shopping at the Giant and I was like, well, let me just take a quick peek. Just, you know, never know. And I'm so glad I went in because, guys, I found all the stuff that I was hoping to find. And I was just so surprised that I ended up finding it in the one that I didn't think was going to have it. So <laughs> it was a nice surprise. All right. So the first one is this happy haunting sign. And I'm sure you guys have already seen all these. Probably purchased them already. But... I was just excited because I finally found them. I thought I was never going to find them, so I was really happy that I did. So that's the first one. And then the second one is the one with the pumpkin. Just says, Happy Halloween with the candy corn. And that's cute. Like that. And the next one just says, Trick or Treat. It's got the cat or the cat and the black bats on it. So that's cute. Very nice. I like that a lot. And like I said, I just really like the vintage feel of these, if that makes sense. Um, it just reminds me when I was little and my mom would decorate for Halloween. And, you know, just like the decorations that she had, it just really looked similar to these. So it just, you know, brought back happy memories. And who doesn't need some happiness in their life right now? Am I right? So thanks, Dollar Tree, for helping us out. Um, the next thing I found... Um, I found the Adams Family Hand. Um, this was the only one they had in the store though. But he was cute, or it was cute. I don't even know, what was the hand's name in the Adams Family? Was it The Thing? I was thinking it was It, but that was Cousin It. I don't know, let me know down in the comments if you remember what the hand's name was. Because now I'm really curious. I think it was The Thing. Anyway. It's cute, just a little tea light holder. I never really use tea light holders though, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I, I buy them at the Dollar Tree because they're really cute and I think I'm gonna use them, but I never do, so. 
the next thing I found was I hadn't seen this in anybody's haul. And when I went to the store, they only had one. So I don't know if they had different ones or not, but I thought this was cute. So it just says, uh, since 1692, Witch's Brew Potion, brewed with only the finest all natural ingredients in the grand tradition of Salem's finest witches. And it just looks like this. Hopefully you guys can see the glass. So, and then it's got the stopper, like the cork stopper. So yeah, I thought that was cute. And like I said, I don't know if there's other ones. I'm sure there are, but I didn't get to find them. So I thought this was really cute. So I picked it up. Uh, next thing I picked up, I found um, some more tea light holders. Uh, but these I felt were really, I don't know, I felt like they were really good quality. Um, like the glass feels thick, even like the design, like the decoration, the twine. I just thought they were really cute. So I grabbed these two, just in the black and the orange. They had a green and a purple, I believe, but I wasn't too fond of those. So I just picked up these. I like these the best. And like I said, they just feel like really nice quality. So you can see that and then like the twine on the side it's it's really nice it looks like you know like more high end i guess if you want to say that uh next thing i found was this cute little tea light spider i had gotten one of these a couple years ago but this one was so cute to me for some reason it's like a kind of like a peachy color and I just love the little face. Like, I couldn't walk past her without picking her up. It was just so cute. And more tea light holders. I found the three pumpkins. They all say boo. They all say the same thing. Um, just came in the orange, white, and black. And then they just look like this on the inside. But I thought they were really cute. I like that. I thought they were just kind of, you know, classic, classic little Halloween. So I liked that. Very nice. And then I was also able to find the skeleton candles. Very cute. And these are glass. So that's pretty cool. They remind me of, I remember when I was little, my mom had these like little mason jars, salt and pepper shakers, but they had a handle like this. So you could just, you know, shake it on your food. And I don't know, for some reason I just thought of this. And I actually think I've seen them before, like the Dollar Tree, the things I'm talking about, the mason jar, salt and pepper shakers. But anyway, they have purple, orange, and green. So I got all three. I think there was a fourth color I want to say. I've probably seen in some other haul videos, but I, I didn't see that. I just saw these three, so I picked them up. And they don't have a scent. Yeah, there's no scent. It's just plain wax. So if you like that, it would be good to pick those up. Uh, next thing I got were, and I was really, really hoping that I would find these because I really love these. This is another thing that reminds me of like vintage Halloween and I love it. It just says happy Halloween. It's got some stars, orange and black with the pumpkins. And they're just so, I love these little wooden box and they light up through the wood. Yay. really cute love that and it's just so it's so Halloween so vintage Halloween to me I love it so they have that one and then they had this one the ghost the two ghosts it says boo with the spider web this is probably my favorite one I really like the ghosts I think they're cute and then the next one is the witch just says wicked and she's on her way somewhere on that broom. Who knows, but she's cute. 
The only thing I wish about some of the stuff from Dollar Tree, like the light up things, I wish they came with like the regular either AAA or AA battery replacement. Like they always give you like these weird like I don't know what you call them like I guess like lithium batteries or something which I know they sell there but I think I've said this before in videos like I don't ever think to buy these um so I don't know I just wish they did like the the regular batteries that would be nice um next thing I picked up was this little trick-or-treat bucket for my little boy it just says stay spooky I thought this was adorable really adorable so even if he doesn't go trick-or-treating, I mean, he loves to carry things around in buckets or bags. So this is perfect for him. He's going to have fun either way. So I picked up this one. I think they had some other designs, but I liked this one. So I grabbed that for him. And then the next couple things I got, I found two of the haunted house cutouts. Now I had seen in someone else's um, YouTube video, they made, it was a woman, I can't remember her name now, I'm sorry, but she was making like a three-dimensional like haunted house. Like, and she had it together with like, I think, wooden dowels and popsicle sticks, and it looked really cool. So I was like, mm, maybe I could try it. Um, it's been a minute since I've done some crafts, so I'm hoping that, you know, when I do it, it'll turn out right. So if I, if I end up doing it, I'll show you guys, and then, you know, maybe that'll inspire you. So I just got two of these. And then the next thing, I just found a little mask for my son. Little lion. He, like I said, he can play dress up. I got him the little raccoon. So I got him this one. So that's real cute. I have no idea what he's going to be for Halloween. If they end up having Halloween this year, which who knows the way that, you know, everything else has been going lately. So I really don't know. Um, next thing I found, they have really cute, like, crafty things for kids, which I really like. Um, now this one is just a little wooden decoration, and it comes with paint, though. We're probably going to use markers, just because he's better with markers and crayons than he is with paint just yet, so we're probably just going to replace the, the paint there with markers. So I thought that was cute. And they had a couple other different ones. I just grabbed the pumpkin because he likes the pumpkins. One other thing I forgot to show you guys that was on my wish list. I finally found it. It's a little messed up though, but you know, no one's going to really see it. It's on the back. Last one. Welcome my pretties. So excited to finally have the whole collection now. It was really nice. Very cute. And just kind of on the back there, there's like a chunk out around the hat, but you know, no one's going to see it. And like I said, cute in a windowsill, cute in a tear tray, um, cute wherever you feel like putting it really. It's, it's adorable. So that's why I got it. Um, and last thing from the Dollar Tree. I actually opened this because I was curious. I just wanted to see what it looked like, but it's the garland and they have a couple other ones um, as well. I just got the little skeletons for right now. Oh, they're all sticking. Isn't this adorable? Look at the little skeletons. They're all in like little different poses. I mean, this is adorable. I like their felt. I love this. Really cute. Probably gonna put this on my mantle or maybe even on like like my front door, like around some decorations or something. I think that would look really cute. All right. Uh, oh, I do have a couple other things, I'm sorry. From the Dollar Tree. Sorry, sorry. So let me see. Oh, I found some treat bags. Didn't see these last year. Maybe they had them, but I didn't see them. Um, they're drawstring treat bags, 15 pieces, and it is the little sugar skulls. How cute are these? I love this. It's so cute. I got two of those. 
because I thought they were really cute. And then I got two of the spiders. I thought they were cute. And uh, one of the cats. Look how cute the cat is, too. And last one, one of the pumpkins. So that was cute. I like that. I don't know about you guys, but we always get a lot of trick-or-treaters. Um, so this is probably... Ah, uh, I mean, it's just 90 treat bags, but it's probably going to go just like that. Um, and then the last thing I found, this is for my little boy too. It just says Happy Halloween, and it's just a pair of like funny little glasses. It's got the spiders on the side, so I thought he would like that. Really cute. All right. That is everything from the Dollar Tree, guys. Let me show you now what I got at Walgreens. So I've seen I've seen the Nightmare Before Christmas a few times. Um, my little boy seems to be into it. He has been watching it on you know the little YouTube and on the phone and stuff. So he told me, mommy, I want an Oogie Boogie. And I had to think for a second what that was. And then I remembered, oh, it's the green guy from Nightmare Before Christmas. So I was at Walgreens and they were starting to put other Halloween things and they had all this Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. And I have to tell you, it was really cute. Um, some of their stuff though is pricey. See, it's hard to shop at the dollar store and find such cute things. And then when you go into other stores, you're like, mm. Mm -mm. I, I don't want to pay that. But I did. So anyway, long story short, we came home with an Oogie Boogie. And he's actually cute. I am a little disappointed, though. I thought he was supposed to light up in the mouth. And he doesn't. But he plays um, This Is Halloween, and he's holding some spiders that do light up. I'll show you guys. And he dances. Hopefully you guys can see him. And he's, you know, pretty cute fucking oogie boogie, I guess. But I thought he was cute. And my little boy liked him, so. If I remember correctly, it doesn't have a price, but I believe he was $20. That sounds about right. So, $15.99 would have been a better price, but I don't know. He was for my little boy, so I'm a sucker when it comes to that. So, anyway, set him there. He's uh, cute. Next thing they had, and I was on the fence about getting these or not, but it, it seemed fun. And I love to decorate, so I'll find something to do with these. But it's the Nightmare Before Christmas character string lights. And they look like this. And I'll show you. So they also play... Uh, the same song, not a different song. This is Halloween. And it's got all the characters. And they all just kind of light up. So, I thought that was super cute. So, we got that. Alright. Only thing I am disappointed about... Um, so the functions for the light set are on with the noise of the song or on without the song, but the lights are flashing. Not really a huge fan of the flashing light. I'd rather have it just on, you know, just regular light. So 
I mean, I don't know. I was thinking about putting it on my mantle, but then I was like, you know, to have it flashing all night long while we're sitting there is probably going to be annoying. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with it. It's only, it's indoor use only, I believe. Yeah, indoor use only. So don't know what we're going to do with that. But it was cute. This was $16.99, I believe. So picked up that. And another thing I got for my little boy was this cute cup. I love this. Um, it's got some water. I've been sipping on it. Yes, I've been using it too. He, you know, has his other cups. So he's like, mommy, you can use it. So I was like, oh, thanks. So it lights up. Look how cute that is. And it's got, well, you can't really see, maybe not, but it's got like the crazy straw inside. I remember being a kid loving a crazy straw. That was funny. And it's just got Jack and Zero and Sally. Would have been cool if it had the Oogie Boogie, but it didn't, so. Actually. Take a drink there. Really cute cup. So if you're into the Nightmare Before Christmas, it's really, they have really cute stuff. And they had a bunch of other stuff too, but you know that was that was all I got um last thing um this was from the giant so I've seen these somewhere else too I want to say but I have no idea where um anyway it's three little signs the first one says I love being a witch and she's cute. How cute is she? And they're all, you know, kind of thick. No wood. And I just thought she was adorable. Her little hair, her little bow. I just love that. And I believe these were $2.99. So that's cute. And the next time when I was in there, they were gone. So they were selling. Uh, next one I picked up was, it just says Boo. It's the little ghost. So he picks his little bow here. It got squished in the bag. But look how cute he is. He's got a little smile, little boo, little bow tie. I love it. So cute. And the last one, this one's spooky, is the cat. I guess it goes with the witch. We got the black cat. So this one is very cute. And like I said, Giant, I've gotten other stuff there before. Um, even after the season, you know, after the holiday, they'll do like the discounted, you know, clearance. And, you know, some stuff that was like maybe five or six dollars, like I've gotten for like a dollar or something like that. So they do have really cute things. So, you know, don't forget to check out your local grocery stores because they may be surprise you. So, well guys, that is everything that I picked up um, from the Dollar Tree, Walgreens, and the Giant. Um, I hope you guys found some things on here that you would like to go purchase yourself. And like I said, hopefully, you know, with the holidays coming, I don't know how it's going to be. Hopefully we'll be able to have trick-or-treating with the kids, but who knows. But, you know, I'm still going to decorate. I'm still going to try to make things happy for us and, you know, not, you know, different, I guess you could say. So that was everything. So I do still have a Target haul coming. Um, I didn't really find too much Halloween stuff there. Um, I just got a couple little things. So I'll probably incorporate that into like the fall haul from Target that I'm going to do. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Um, thanks for clicking on this video. Please like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, and if you like seeing videos, if you like seeing haul videos, if you like the Oogie Boogie, maybe. <laughs> he is starting to grow on me. He's getting cuter. So anyway, have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.
Bye guys. Mm.